Bench 2 of the Retro Tech Repair Shop can mean only one thing. It's going to be hard work. It might not be a lot of fun. It's going to be a tough one to put up with. It's going to be a broken Pioneer amplifier. Okay, this is uh, an item I picked up locally to where I live from eBay. Um, it's a Pioneer SA620 amplifier, not working, condition is parts are not working. Around 40 years old, been in storage about 10 years and now not working. Um, when I want to pick it up, I had a chat with the gentleman. He had had it since he was uh, a child. It's part of a, uh, a set that he had. Also got some speakers off of him. He's still got the other two parts, I think, of the original setup in his loft. But I think when he got this one out and tried it, it didn't work and uh, he really didn't want to throw it away and he hopes that it can be repaired. So let's make a start on it and see if we can do anything with it. I always start at the same point. I always start with the, with the basics, which is the plug, just to make sure it's got a suitable fuse in it. It's a 5 amp fuse, which is fine and that, the, that it's wired correctly put it on ohms right first thing I'm going to check is there's no earth on this again even though this is metal so there's no return earth cable in uh, core in the cable so first thing I'm going to do is check the fuse which is intact okay second test is Make sure there's no direct short between the live and the neutral. Okay, so there's nothing there at all. That's a good sign. And the third check I do, live and neutral again. Well, I can do live down to the metal work, and I can do neutral down to the metal work as well. So there's nothing wrong there. Quick check in the plug to make sure there's it is correctly wired. And the final check to do from the plug is I've got nothing there. Switch on the main switch and see if I can read the primary on the main transformer. 13 point what we got 13.3 ohms. So it looks like the primary winding is intact on the transformer. Next step is to open it up and have a look inside. up and have a look. It's extremely dusty in there. And to give that a good wash out. First thing I want to check though is that we've got the supply coming in in a healthy way. So the supply comes in down the bottom here. Live in the neutral. And it goes on to that. What are these? Let's have a quick look. Oh, it's an AC unswitched 100 watt max power outlet. Okay, so how does this work? Let's have a quick look. Okay, so the live comes in, it goes to that power outlet, and it links across on this red cable, and it goes up here. Here, buried under there, and it goes up to the power switch. Now, when we took our reading across the primary winding, we switched this on and off, and we read the primary winding on the transformer, which is down here. So, we've got a fuse on the primary side by the looks of it here. This instrument fuse looks intact. And it will be if it um, if you could read the primary winding, which we could. So the neutral's coming in. That's linking across to that neutral, and that links across to that neutral. All the soldering is intact. Then goes up here to that pin out there, which is number 43. Okay, let's put the plug back together again. 
number one, job number one. Let's make sure that we've got voltage coming into it. So let's go to AC volts, plug it in. Right, before it comes through to the switch, it comes to this point up here. So neutral and the live, and we've got 241 volts. Um, and then that links off down here to the switch. So let's turn the switch on. Let's see what we got. Switch it up. Okay, something coming on then. Oh, it's powered up. That's interesting. It really had to think about that then. It's like a relay, it took ages to click in. Switch it off again. Let's see what's on the display. Let me switch it on. Power light comes on. Relay clicks in. Okay, that's very interesting. Man said it was completely dead. So, have we got an intermittent connection or something in here? Let's have a little poke around with a probe. Can I get that to the R240, right, so it goes through the transformer and it comes out and there's three cables here. There's a red, an orange and a white. So it goes between the orange and the red. Basically we've got 67 volts. The white could be a centre tapping, so we've got 67, we've got 33 volts. 33, perfect, and 33 on the other one. Perfect, so that is all intact. So now to DC volts, got four diodes, two big smoothing capacitors there. So I'm going to put the negative on the bottom of those diodes there, opposite to where the little line is. I'm going to put the positive on this set, 88 volts. So we've got 88 volts DC. If I then put it on AC, I'll see how well these capacitors are working. Uh, that we're not getting a, uh, a big AC ripple on top of the DC level. So let's have a look at that. Hopefully we should be in the millivolts. 87 millivolts. So the bridge rectifier is working. The capacitors are obviously working as well. Um, so I can't see anything at this stage obviously wrong with it. Um, I've, I've decided to check the operation of the amplifier because it's coughed into life straight away. Um, I'm going to check all the functions out just to make sure that everything is working okay um, and see if I can find any issues. So what I've done, i am put in a recently repaired Denon tape deck and I'm going to insert a tape and give it a test. Okay, tape deck's coming up. Switch on the unit. Power on light is on. Okay, we're on tape one connection. I've got it, the speakers on off at the moment. The output level works. Go on to the left channel, balance and the right channel. That seems to react absolutely okay. Um, Gonna switch over to the speaker. Speakers connected on A at the moment. Okay, let's turn that down. Speaker B's aren't connected. So a is on. The flat seems to be working. Let's wait for the tape to catch up. You can hear the you can hear the treble changing. You can hear the mono and stereo changing over as well. Um, so the unit appears to be okay. They did say there could be a problem with the actual uh, volume knob 
making a bit of a crackling noise when you adjust it. So let's give that a try. <laughs> There's a bit of a crackle. There's a bit of a crackle there on the balance adjustment. The volume sounds okay. There's definitely a bit of a crackle on the potentiometers. Um, so they probably need a bit of cleaning out on the tracks. I've gone through all the other functions. I can't find anything wrong anywhere with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it off and clean it all up now and then do an inspection. <laughs> 